everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a really simple 50s inspired summer dress. Back when I was doing the 1930s ghost costumes, I did a lot of searching for mock-up fabric which involved raiding the charity shops for as many duvet covers as I could find. One of the ones I found was quite interesting. On one side it was like a cityscape in like black and white photo. But then on the other, it was this, like, film, <laughs> and I thought that just looked so interesting. I couldn't bear to just use it as mock-up. The side that was the cityscape, I would have had to have worried about, like, pattern matching and which way round I had pattern pieces and stuff, but with this I don't need to. Because this used to be a duvet cover, it does also have the advantage of it has been washed multiple times, so I don't have to worry about pre-washing it. It just seems so fitting to make a dress out of this, especially considering I do do photography. I know it may not seem like it with some of my reveal footage, <laughs> but I do do photography. So I thought this would be really fun. I've also got like a little, like kind of, garden party thing but it's only going to be a couple of people just for a few people from the costume department and the theatre and I thought it'd be nice to make myself a summer dress for the occasion because I don't have that many kind of nice things I, I tend to mainly live in like jeans or jogging bottoms and like stuff like this. I do plan on updating my wardrobe at some point like making like a little capsule wardrobe or something but uh, I've got too much stuff going on in the background, <laughs> so that is going to be something for a later date. But, for now, we can make a summer dress. I scoured the internet, as I usually do for the search term, free vintage sewing pattern. Uh, I came across a really cute one on a website called Vena Venus, and it is the Sweetheart Halter Dress. I will put a link to that in the description. Right! Without further ado, let's get sewing. I started out by taping together my pattern. This pattern was a little bit too small for me, so I added half an inch seam allowance to each side. I also shortened the waist by one inch because I'm quite short-waisted. Everything fit on the duvet cover quite nicely. Right, we have pieces surged. I've done the pockets and the skirt pieces, but I haven't done the bodice pieces because that's two layers, so the seams are all going to be inside anyway. We do have instructions. As usual, that's going away, and I'm just going to wing it. I start off with doing my dart on the bodice, and then I'm probably going to do the pockets on the skirt. Then it should be reasonably easy to kind of whiz through everything. It's not that complicated. I hope. It doesn't look that complicated. So it'll just be the long seams on the sides for the skirt once the pockets are attached. Then I'm going to be basically kind of bag lining the top, sewing the front part of the waistband, then flipping under the seam allowance on the inside and sewing that down. Then zip down the back. To make a, a bit of a change for me recently, should be a reasonably quick and easy one. I stitched the darts, I then added the pockets to the sides of the skirt pieces.
I pinned the side pieces and stitched them going around the pockets. I then stitched the front and back pieces, leaving the top of the back open for the zip. Everything got pressed, I promise one day I'll get a clapper. Next I put in my pleats and basted them in place. I then attached the front and side pieces together. Now, I actually messed up one of these pieces when I was sizing it up. What I should have done was followed the line like that. So cut it like that and carry on. I didn't. So now I've ended up with a bit of excess here. Never mind though, we can just trim that down, that's fine. Everything was pressed and then I stitched the two layers of the top together along the top edge and around the neck strap. Next, I attach the skirt to the front layer of the top. I was really lucky and happened to find a bag of zips, one of which was the right size, at a local car boot sale. This was stitched in place, leaving the lining layer free. In the evening, I stitched the lining layer down. Sorry for this footage being so dark. I do happen to have a stretch goal on coffee to get some decent lights. So if you'd like to help out with that, the link is in the description. I decided to use bias binding to do the hem due to the curvature. And after that, it was done.
pleased with how this turned out. I think it looks so pretty. I love the fabric. I think it fits my personality so well. It's really, really flowy and just love it. And of course, it has pockets. There's only two things that I'm a little bit unsure of, and that's the pleat on the front. I feel like that would have been better going the other way. I did check on the reference image and it is in the right direction, but I just feel the first pleat gets a little bit lost. It's a little bit too far up. So I think if they were just reversed and there was a little bit more room, that would look a little bit better. The other thing is it's very low at the back, so unless I get one of those like bras that's just two things that stick to you, I can't wear a bra with this, and I think it'd really benefit from being able to. Other than those two things though, I love it, I really really do. I've already worn it out to that little get together I told you about earlier, and people really really liked it. I'll leave a link in the description to the pattern for anyone who wants to have a go at making this themselves. I do think it's a really, really nice pattern and it's such a pretty design. If you fancy having a chat with me, seeing the kind of things that I'm up to behind the scenes, then I do have a Discord. Link to that will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching. YouTube is saying that you might enjoy this video next and I will see you next time. Bye!